What's going on guys, Fatlord here from Team Evolution. Uh, right now we're going to be running down, a, we're going to be doing a quick cast uh, on doing a sort of tryout to become a side caster for Team Evolution. So uh, let's go ahead and get in game. This game is between formerly, formerly I believe, uh, Impulse's Beast and Squalus. Uh, the name does ring a bell, I don't know exactly where he's from. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So in the bottom left position, we have the all-famous and well-known Beast. And in the top left, as our blue Protoss, Squalus. So TVP, um, as a Terran player myself, it is one of my most difficult matchups, but it is also my favorite. Uh, it could be some form of bias, you know, I used to be a Protoss player myself and made the switch to Terran, so I kind of know the ins and outs of my enemy. So it's it's a pretty enjoyable matchup. Um, I'm excited to see what uh, kind of play we'll be seeing out of these guys. Uh, Beast going with the non wall off which is correct. In the lower leagues, uh, Terrans usually tend to wall off against Protoss, you know, if any cheese were to come, sort of like uh, proxy gates, you know, just waltz some zealots up into your base and it's pretty much over. But um, what's kind of counterintuitive to walling off against Protoss would be the fact that um, sort of all-ins against them, you know, they'd be able to pick off your reactor or tech lab or the barracks or even supply depots, getting supply blocked in that kind of situation is pretty bad. So we're, it looks like we're going to have a one Rax expand out of Beast, and uh, Squalus is going for a one Gate expand it looks like, as he hasn't taken his... Oh, there he goes. So uh, we're probably going to see uh, one Gate, one Gas, one Cyber, then expand. Uh, we could have seen uh, a one gate followed up by a nexus, but the fact that he's taken that gas lets us know that you know he wants to start warp gate tech before and just be a little safe. We do have beast down with the SCV to block the expansion. Always a good idea. You know you should always be a gym class hero. Delay, delay, delay. So we do have the orbital command coming in, and we do have the cybernetic score coming in for Squalus. Uh, things are pretty, pretty normal looking right now. Beast getting ready to drop down his expansion. Uh, but we do see the engineering bay block. That is just painful. But uh, Squalus is uh, producing a zealot and chrono boosting it out to have this dealt with. Now, th see, the thing is. He Beast will get the cancel on this engineering bay. However, um, you know it delays his own expansion, and he isn't going to get all the minerals back from this. And he did go Squalus did go Zealot first, which you know is when you're doing this, you're sort of hoping that they they're skipping the Zealot and whatnot. So we do have the CC going down for Beast. Um, we should see the two barracks follow up. Um, this game is just looking ex extremely standard, nothing out of the ordinary except for the natural expansion block. We do have the bunker going down for Beast at a correct time. Now that the Zealot and Stalker are out, you want to get the bunker up because if you don't have a bunker up and you have a Zealot and Stalker, even a second Stalker which is about to pop coming towards your base, uh, you can be in a lot of trouble. So there are the two additional barracks going down for Beast, so we can begin uh, more unit production. We have this uh, first gas coming down. We should see a second gas uh, in a couple seconds here, if I'm correct. Just uh, You always want to make sure you got your SEVs producing, and then you have your Marines being produced, and then when you have enough minerals, you uh, throw down the gas. And we do have the SEVs being transferred over to the natural expansion. Uh, is he going to lose this marine here? No, he doesn't. Uh, we should see the orbital coming in at uh, 150 minerals. You want to prioritize that. There we go. Uh, we have a robo as a second tech structure coming down from Squalus. I really like this. Um, 
it's very very safe contrary to what a lot of players would think um, say if you were going up against uh, two racks or some sort of aggression with an early expand like this outer protoss just uh, having an immortal out corner boosting a single immortal uh, just stops those pushes uh, straight up and we do have two additional gates going down uh, transitioning us into that three gate robo and we do have two gases out of squalus now the only thing I could really think about um, trying to decipher him here is if he is going to go for Colossus or Templar first and you know that also has me thinking it's uh, as a Terran player it can get pretty frustrating as to how um, Protoss is always dictating the game you know um, if they go Colossus first you better get Vikings if they go Templar first you better get Ghost it's never the other way around for Terran you know Terran can never go Ghost first and then force Colossus out of Protoss it's just kinda funny how that works uh, so we do have Stim uh, we have a early reactor going down from beast this is not something I see usually we do have the starport production um, I guess oh there is the reactor for the starport um, I'm gonna have to look into this build because honestly getting a reactor that soon but I've noticed that he didn't get it on this specific barracks so he, he has some sort of production and we do have a second reactor going down actually I kind of like this uh, the second reactor starts when this reactor is finished so you know unit production can sort of catch up and there is that third command center out of beast fairly early uh, before he even takes his uh, third and fourth gas um, he should start taking those very soon because he hasn't started upgrades and he's about to start medevac production so we should be seeing those third and fourth gases coming out pretty soon here uh, we just have some immortals being built right now playing very defensive he isn't looking to rush any tech I like this um, he isn't playing greedy. Let's take a look at the unit counting station. We have 40 SEVs to 39 probes. Um, I'm a little disappointed in the Protoss player. We haven't seen any aggression out of Terran, and there's absolutely no reason why Protoss should be ahead in worker supply simply because of Chrono Boost. Look, we have 92 Chrono Boost on this Nexus. We have 85 Chrono Boost on this ne Nexus. It's, you know, even if you're not Chrono Boosting probes, Chrono Boost your gates, Chrono Boost your, your uh, robotics facilities. Um, we do have some medevacs being loaded up and they're going to split up the observer sees it um, but the thing is did Squalus actually see it we do have Squalus moving out on the map he has definitely seen that um, drop he's moving out to pick it off probably or he's trying to go for a counterattack while the drop is missing yep he's seen the drop he has stalkers in position meanwhile he, oh I really like this while the drop is coming he's prepared for it he's gonna snipe the met medevac Squalus is going for a counterattack because he knows that a ton of units at least 16 supply worth of units are missing from beasts base right now um, and here we go garden shield going up um, just finally loading up into the bunker and there are the force fields preventing the uh, SCVs from repairing. We have the Immortals doing so much damage. The Zealots, you know, those force fields were actually in the favor of Zealots for the most part. Usually they get stuck behind the force fields and the Marines can just shoot down the Zealots. We have SCVs being dropped. Let's take a look at the units lost tab. Oh my goodness. And yeah, LMFAO. Um, you know, that, that was a sick play by Squalus. I gotta give it to him. Um, the fact that he knew exactly how to react to a double medevac drop, you know? Um, have stalkers in position to deal with the drop. More stalkers being warped in now. They're going to clean this right up. And uh, three, those three immortals, once you get into the production of Terran as Protoss, picking off those units, it's just. Oh, yeah. Well. I get mad like that too. So uh, that was my first solo cast ever. I'm not too sure how I did. I'm going to have to check this out myself. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, hopefully you see more of me. So uh, see you guys.